I collect symbolic imagery like a lepidopterist collects butterflies. And Berlin has the best specimen of windows that I have ever seen. This isn't an architectural observation. It's a confluence of time and place. They only happen in winter, when complete darkness by evening rush hour brings them on, in chorus. Humble apartment blocks transform. They become bright display cases, tropical aquariums, incubators for alien babies. But if it was just a visual effect, why did they move me so? I knew that they stood for something else. So, I drew windows. But in my paintings, windows were always just a frame for a person. I saw this as incorrect, because this was not the way I experienced windows. But when I drew no people at all, the way I saw them when I took long walks on cold evenings, I couldn't connect. I didn't get the symbolism. It was only a short while ago that I understood. I'd been gone on a trip. When I returned in the evening, approaching my home, I knew something was wrong. The police had evacuated our block. There'd been a serious flood. Those dark windows were a sour, off-key note. Without the lights, the house felt dead. And I understood then. I, the consummate introvert, loved lit windows not because of their colours or because they looked like nocturnal butterflies. My art had reached the truth long before I had. Lit windows signified people. They filled me with joy because they signified people. So in my art, I always had a single figure among windows. A person emphasised. A self amongst many selves. What I was forgetting was, on those cold walks, it was never just the windows. It was the windows and myself. Your story is made up of the places you focus your attention on. Like looking up through a lace of trees to see the moon. Symbols are the very real lace of the relationships between things. They are all just behind the clear glass, longing to play with you. Inspiration wipes away the condensation with her sleeve and waits patiently. All you have to do is lean in and look.